What are mango worms and where do they come from? Hello everyone. Today we're going to delve into the fascinating yet slightly unnerving world of parasitology by talking about mango worms. These are a type of parasitic larva that can affect both animals and humans, and they originate from a particular part of our world. What are mango worms? First things first, what exactly are mango worms? Mango worms are the larva of a type of fly known as Cordylobia anthropophaga, or the tumbu fly. Despite the name, they aren't actually related to mangoes at all. The name comes from a misconception because they were first discovered in the region where mangoes are grown. These larvae are small, but they have a very big impact. They are parasitic, meaning they depend on a host to survive. In this case, their hosts can be a variety of mammals, including humans. How do mango worms infect their hosts? Now you might be wondering, how do these tiny creatures manage to infect their hosts? The process starts when the adult tumbu fly lays its eggs on the ground or on damp clothes or beddings. Once these eggs hatch, the larva can penetrate the skin of the host. Once under the skin, the larva grow and develop into a stage known as a pupa. After a while, the mature larva will leave the host's body to pupate in the soil. This cycle can cause a lot of discomfort and even pain to the host, as the presence of the larva under the skin can lead to swellings known as furuncles. Where do mango worms come from? Now, let's talk about where mango worms come from. The tumbu fly, and consequently the mango worm, is native to certain regions of Africa, particularly in the sub-Saharan region. This includes countries such as Uganda, Nigeria, and Sierra Leone, among others. However, due to travel and transportation of animals, there have been instances of mango worm infestation in other parts of the world. In conclusion, mango worms are a fascinating example of the world of parasites. While they can cause discomfort and require medical attention, understanding their life cycle and origin can help us to prevent and treat infections. Remember, if you're in an area where these flies are common, take precautions such as ironing your clothes and bedding to kill any eggs, and avoid walking barefoot. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope this video has shed some light on these unseen invaders.